everyone, welcome to Otaku Saga. I'm DK. I'm Rizzo. And I'm Zero. And today in Anime Reaction, watch the second episode of Beatless. It's Beatless, Beatless. I can't beat him. It's less, I had to do less beatings, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, the first episode of this series was... Uh, Underwhelming, let's right. say. Nah, kind of jerked us around a little bit. <laughs> or that. Anyway, three, two, one. Let's, let's jam. jam. Bah! Whoa, hey. Nice, nice word salad there, subs. So much word salad and broker. Move, bitch. <laughs> Get out the way. You'd look a lot better with less. Uh. You want to, too. Shut up. Come on. Who doesn't? Just, just a wee bit. You know, with the, um... Just a wee bit. Super advanced android weapon living there. That tends to make a wee bit of a difference in domestic life. That's why he wants new clothes. She's dressing like the busty Onei-chan without the bustiness. That was a cool, cool shot of the uh, robotic back. It's all about the Pentium's bait. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> reminded nice. me of that dude from uh, um, what was that anime called? Grandelia. Chobits. Yeah, Chobits. Mm. Dude with all the Robo maids. Don't know if I mentioned it, but yeah, Grandelia. Did the theme songs for Kill a Kill? Or at least the first one, right? Or the second one? I can't remember. I know I know she did. She did at least one of them. Yeah. Made it, made it, made it, made it. Eh? Oh. Huh. I don't think she's been briefed about the life-threatening situation she's in, right? Yeah? Hey, don't knock a homie's hustle. It's 
especially with the big coffin thing against the wall. My sister is a moron. Bitch, did I stutter? <laughs> so, no, we didn't. <laughs> Lucky bastard. Luxury model. Well, we need to explain it to viewers, so... Mm, there we go. So that's why we have Mr. Exposition. Why do you guys have a sudden interest? I'm sensing a big time ulterior motive here, especially from this Ryu guy. Yoink. Got him. Oh, he's with the company. Oh boy. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of already too late here. Yeah, he's balls deep in this. She kind of do. Damn, eating good tonight. No, it was. Stolen, really. Let me guess, the one that has all of her information on it? You're so smart and connected to the internet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, this isn't awkward at all. Dark and abandoned. Perfect. Why would you put that in your desk?
I mean, if it's so important, why would you ever put it in your desk? Why would you ever put it anywhere other than on you? Like, I could understand it for, like, Jim. Yes, we get it. She's very pretty. <laughs> yes, we get it. The school's abandoned. In that case, excuse me. Ooh. Yes, sir. The morning after. Who is that one girl from uh, Bukurawa Mina Kawaiso? Look, the 50,000 layers of makeup. Oh, yeah. Yeah, didn't know she had a I sister. Hmm. Chocolate. Was that an electric French press? That was kind of bizarre. Mm. Either that or gravity's working faster than usual. Kind of important to pseudo human shape. Ooh. Hmm. How chic. Work it. Damn. That ass. <laughs> she do. Stunts like that, yeah. You'll probably get a lot of attention. Mm. Especially the unwanted kind. He's thinking furiously about how to use her, I'm sure. My God, what a crowd. Freaking Pied Piper here. Woo!
Damn. Epic. <laughs> Just from walking down the street. It kills a walking flash mob. Oh, yeah. We call it the dress break. Hashiko! Another HA. Insert song. Woo. Yeah. Uh. Pose. What kind of anime was this again? No idea. <laughs> <laughs> Hard sci fi. I think is how I described it last episode. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Didn't know people looked like TV static from the air. <laughs> so waiting for something to go south here. Hmm. Not gonna lie, it's it's always kind of frightened me how easily people are manipulated. Yeah, a little bit. A mind so strong and yet so feeble. Row row. Oh. Don't think she'll need them, but okay. I'm sure I won't need them. Thank you. <laughs> Hmm. Especially since I stink so damn much. <laughs> Ooh, right, right.
And she can connect to police and first responder frequencies, too. <laughs> I'm so fucked up. <laughs> I'm never washing his hand. I'm fapping with this hand tonight. Uh, That's as close as he's ever gonna get. <laughs> at least in the anime. Oh, uh, and the Dojin Riders go ape shit. Yeah, I kind of figured um, something bigger was going to happen. That usually does when you draw that much attention. Maybe it's kind of laying the groundwork for a big event to happen. I think this one's too core, so... Mm. It's not like they have any real rush. Yeah. <sighs> Ah, didn't know the girl who left her time got a sequel. I was kind of hoping it would end the same way. Oh, those shoes are run. Here he is monitoring all the first responder activity in Tokyo. Dang. So now he gets one too? Maybe. Oh boy. And considering what we know about Ryu, it looks like our three. F oh my. Oh, what? what? Anyway, looks like our three friends are being set up against each other. Oh dear. A pet. 
Jeez. Man, that's kind of creepy to think about, actually. Yeah, it's just a wee bit. Yeah. Android suddenly comes into your life and she's only being nice to you to pretty much condition you. Okay. That's where my mind goes with that, anyway. Yeah, still not sure what, still not sure what to think about this. Mm, mm. Still can't hear me? Can anybody else hear me? Um. Yeah, I'm not sure what to think about this series, to be honest. I mean, so I, 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 I when I pulled my laptop out or when I popped it up earlier, I looked up at tags that. Uh, different sites are tagging it as mm -hmm, different genres. Uh, most of them say action, romance, drama, and sci-fi. Uh, um, it's only from a couple of them, but yeah, this one's definitely like kind of slice of lifey and weird, really mellow compared to the first episode. <laughs> that's, 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 that's next, next, week. Episode. That's next, next week. week. Yes. <laughs> that's next week, hit wrist. Relax. That's next week. And you know, yeah. Scream. That's our, uh. What was that? What was the Nerdy Boy's name? Kengo? Yeah. Yeah. Monitors in the background. You know, that's Kengo getting uh, all freaky there. Right? Um, because he totally would. Don't blame him. But yeah, that that whole analog hack thing was interesting. Mm. Here, three cute girls posing in clothes. Buy our shit, and it works. Hook, line, and sinker. Follow the android with a nice booty. Uh, I did mention it before, um, it, it kind of scares me how easily people will fall for that. Yep. Yeah, that's, uh, well, the whole like, bringing up of analog hacking, it, I'm getting the feeling, uh, especially uh, with the help of next week's preview, the next episode's preview, it's going to be a major theme of the series. Um, I believe ACDC made a song called Who Made Who might uh, kind of be appropriate for the series. Maybe paraphrase it, who's controlling who? Damn, I'm groping. Well, we all know what happens when you, uh, yeah, <laughs> when you overstep your permissions to interface with the machinery. Yeah, you get, you get thrown out. <laughs> Harshly, in fact. By security guards. Uh, and totally not Kyoko from Madoka Magica. Totally not. It's totally Coca. Coca. Ah, man. And she doesn't eat, eat anything. Yep. So there's that. Yeah, it's actually really interesting watching uh, people interact with the robots. Mm. I love watching that in any sort of media, really. Well, normally it's kind of like written, you know, as like hard science fiction novels, but here we get to see it. Yeah. And I mean, normally if they try to do it in, say, like movie form, it ends up being like a CGI action fest in the, in the end, like iRobot or Terminator. Here you see sort of that, hmm, I guess a more subtle, uh... Subtle action, I guess, or interaction. There we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. Everyday life. Everyday life of robot girls. Mecha Musume. If someone made a like a light-hearted version of this, like a sort of like comedy romance harem series, in the spirit of Monster Musume, that that would be pretty cool. But yeah, I'm wondering if this is going to turn out like... I don't know if it'll turn out quite like Plastic Memories. 
Uh, this one, well, Plastic Memories was more episodic um, until you started focusing more on the uh, Aesilus storyline toward the end. Uh, this one, I think it's more the world and the rules of that world. Uh, yeah. Specifically in the area of human-machine interaction. But there's, there's a lot more emphasis on Lucia and her owner. Mm-hmm. More than anything. Yeah. Um, I, I can see where you're drawing up the parallel plots and memories with that, though. Yeah. Okay. I just was not expecting the whole weird slice of life angle going on. The whole fashion scene. Especially in episode two. Yeah, I was expecting more of, like, action and stuff like that. Well, I could have seen them going with that, but I thought that was going to be, you know, it's just like, yeah, this is happening, everything's going well, and then, boom, something big, something bad happens. But again, I mean, this is, all the action in here is more subtle. Like Ryu grabbing the phone after Lacey has sends her signature code, because that's not going to come into play at all in the future. Right. Q I roll. Or uh, Kengo here, oh man, um, playing Super Hacker. Yeah. And also, uh, kudos to him for uh, all you know for minimizing all the windows when Sis comes to the door. Right. Because yeah, can, uh, ten out of ten can relate. Search your feelings, you know it to be true too. <laughs> no, that's why I have a laptop. Close the screen. Because that's not shifty at all. I do a lot of my browsing on my smartphones. So I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah, home button. Anyway. Oh, well, this is only episode two. Um, mm-hmm. We'll probably give it a third episode. And if that preview is anything to go off of, <laughs> next week should be. Um, I mean, yeah, yeah, it, it looks really good. Mm. Very tasteful. Mm. Lots of tasteful jokes coming on that one. Oh, most, defi- most definitely. Only, only the most tasteful and classy of commentary. Yeah. But also, because this is going to be a two-core series, um, we'll really have to see like how much we enjoy it and if we want to stick with it throughout the, the, the whole 24, 26 episodes. Well, 24 episodes. Yeah, if we keep this, uh, yeah, it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to be for the long haul. So we really got to give it some thought. But, but let us know what you thought of the anime, what you thought of our reaction in the comment section below. Yep, thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and if you're interested in joining our Discord, look for it in the description below. But that's going to do it for this episode of Anime Reaction. As always, I'm DK. I'm Zero. And I'm Rizzo. See, See you next time. time.